by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. It's the fourth quarter. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. On the court for the Hornets. Hayward and Bridges at the small and power forward spots. Then it's Mason Plumley. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Martin in at the shooting guard position. Here's Bain. Into the lane. Misses from short range. Here's Martin. Pass to Hayward. Back to Martin. Beyond the arc. That's in. Coming off an assist from Hayward. Martin's got himself on the board with a three there. Look, right there, the defense overcommits. Hayward with good awareness finds the open man. And here's Moran outside. And the three-pointer goes. Moran's got 22. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. Now here's Rozier. Bridges, a screen on Moran. Rozier, the pass to Bridges. Soft touch off the glass. And the Hornets lead by six. They've toned down their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Outside, Anderson. Memphis needs to get off a shot. And the basket by Bain. Adding to his three-point total on the night. He had three in the first half. Now he's got his first one here in the second. Rogier against Moran. To the paint. Got a piece of it. Jackson with it. To tie it up. And again, it's Memphis with a three. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Back to Lozier. Bridges, a screen on Moran. Three-pointer Rozier. Brooks with the rebound. Brooks has got his fourth rebound in this one. Pass to Jackson. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. The Hornets have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. Plumley a screen on Moran. And he's going for the oop here. Stolen by Jackson. On the wing, Bain. Here's Brooks to take the lead. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Hayward's got four rebounds now. Brooks against Rozier. Plumley down low. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. I like to stay this place if he's to the table. Maybe he won't give you something spectacular ever. He will be reliable. Taking two shots. On this timeout call. Adams checked in for Anderson. And a change for the Hornets. Ball's checked in. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what James Brago was going over with his team. He wants all they have to give coming down the stretch. Saying, quote, it's not just the big plays. I want to see us making the little plays, too. Winning the 50-50 balls. That's the effort we need. And Ali, thanks. Free throw, no good. And with Plumley, his dependability is what draws teams to him when he's available. Yeah, B.A., I mean, you need that in a big man. He doesn't feel like he has to be the marquee guy. He's more than happy to do the little things, the dirty work that helps round out any team's front court. And he's good on the second. 
gets them what they need. Could have been better, but they're out front. The Grizzlies have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. Pass to Bain. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Here's Jackson. Adams with the ball. To take the lead. And finally, they hit one. It's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. Charlotte trailing. Now here's Ball. Plumley a screen on Moran. Ball passes to Plumley. Slam dunk by Plumley. The floor awareness is what I love. Yeah, I love how Ball scans the floor and he finds other guys. On the wing, Bain. 4 3. The shot off that time. And the Hornets going the other way now. The biggest lead of the game 15 points. Here's Ball on the take. He's got it. Six of ten now. But it's just the intuition of Ball, if you ask me. He, he just knows what to do and win. And right there, he puts it on the floor and makes it play. Now here's Moran. Hornets with the rebound. Ball's got six rebounds now in the game. Rozier outside. Six on the shot clock. From outside the arc. A rebound by Jackson. Memphis has gone three for five from three-point land since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Bain. Now here's Adams. Guarded by Hayward. From inside. Back to Bain. Morant with it. The three... Adams inside. Hounded by Ball. Here's Brooks. Oh, persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. What sound fundamentals and shooting mechanics that Brooks has. I mean, he makes defenders pay for the mid -range. And here's Rozier. Another basket for Charlotte. Not one to force shots offensively. If the mid-range is there, Rogier is happy to take it. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Now here's Moran. And the shot goes in. Moran's got nine points now in the second half. Instead of risking something on the perimeter, he just works it inside. No, no, he's reading the defense, sensing the opening. No, he doesn't hesitate. Pass to Bridges. Now ball. Pumley a screen on Moran. And the foul on Jaron Jackson. Jackson. That's foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. And so it's Charlotte with it. They lead by one. Now Rozier. Launches it. He can't get that one to fall. Ooh, good work defensively by Adams. Adams a screen from deep. Moran fires in the triple. Moran's got eight points here in the quarter. Consistency from range. I mean, that will help determine Moran soon. And if he gets that, he gets someday challenge. Now here's Rozier. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Rozier's got 30 points. He's hit a pair of threes each half, making a significant impact. Moran against Ball. And it's Moran off the... Oh, oh, wow! Oh, incredible! He's underrated going into college, underrated coming into the league, and Morant plays like he's still trying to prove the dollars wrong. Impressive looks on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Here's Ball. Hayward with it. Back to Ball. Pass to Hayward. 
Shot clock at five. Up and over Brooks. Hayward's shot is off. Memphis has gotten four of seven three-pointers to fall in the fourth. Here's Moran. And then Moran with the dunk. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. There's no panic in Brooklyn staring at a big deficit. They still kept their poise and went to work. Now here's Ball. And the call will be against Jaron Jackson. That's his third foul of the game. And the Hornets making a change here. Washington's checked in. Coming up to the floor for the away team, D.J. Washington. Now here's Ball. Six to shoot. This one for three. Good. Now seven for 11 on the night. And this has to boost Ball's confidence. I mean, it's great to see him draining contested jumpers. Moran against Ball. And then Moran with the dunk. And you have to love it. The floor general taking things into his own hands. Just the aggression they're looking for, man. This is why they go to him. When the game is tight, he ups his intensity level. Now here's Rozier. Ball outside. And they call an illegal screen here. The last thing they want to be doing right now is giving away possession. Turnovers can kill you in this kind of game. Here's Bain. No good on the shot. Oh, nice D from Rozier. Just five on the clock. Shot from 16. There's Ball with a three. Moran with a defensive effort. Memphis leading. Jackson finds Adams. Back to Jackson. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. That's just incredible control from Jackson. He's someone that has no problem overcoming physical defense like this. Who wants a t-shirt? Make some noise. All right. Look who's coming up in court. And it's the Hornets with the ball. And here's Hayward. Washington a screen. From 17. And the shot goes. Now you got to give Hayward his props. He's terrific at getting his shots in mid range. against Moran. One thirty-six left in the fourth quarter. Working as hard as anybody for that rebound. That's not an easy one to correct. Adams gets rebounded by Charlotte. Wow. He doesn't miss many of those. He's such a strong finisher and tight. Pass to Hayward. the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. It's going to be on Dylan Brooks. Uh, you can't be careless guarding him. He's in depth of forcing the D's hand and getting the call. He was just a skinny kid coming out of college. He just got much stronger and much better in a short period of time. And he does get the second one. And that narrows the gap to one. 11 left to play in the fourth quarter. Here's Moran. And then Moran with the jam! What I love about Moran is that he understands his strength on offense. I mean, this is why he's efficient. Hayward against Brooks. Ball right side. To tie it up. And he sinks it. Oh, a 
tremendous three. We're tied. And great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. He has what it takes to come through in the clutch. Fifty seconds left to play in the fourth. Moran against Ball. Pass to Bain. Moran with a screen on Rozier. Six on the shot clock. Brooks outside. Let's the three fly. Oh, he knocked down the trifecta. I love seeing Brooks take these quick shots. I mean, he's skilled at realizing when he has room to get them off. Here's Hayward. Shot game clock separated by five. Ball outside. Doubled by Jackson. Rozier left side. Pass to Plumley. Here's Washington. From deep. Off target from downtown. And they commit an intentional foul. We'll see another one of those, so they get into the penalty. Yeah, and that was a smart move. I mean, you have to foul right there. You just don't want them to run out the clock. And he commits the intentional foul. Mason Plummer. That's his third person foul. Second team foul. At the line for him. Bomb away. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. How much fun as it is to watch John Morant? I mean, he's clearly having more fun out on the court. I mean, his love for the game is so obvious, and you can tell it affects his whole team. Rogier, right side, pulls it. They get it back. Here's Plumley. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. And no good. As the first free throw misses, we'll see if he can hit the second. And he can't get the second one to drop either. Coming up empty that time. And so it's the Grizzlies who come out on top here. Boy, they didn't make it easy on their fans or themselves. But at the end of the day, everyone on their side is happy. Yeah, happy indeed. The momentum shifted away from them a few times, especially early on. But give these guys credit for sticking with the game plan and finishing the job. Along with Grant Hill, Chris Weber, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's presentation. Now our New Balance player of the game, Ja Moran.